kloof hunting is the best when it comes to farming Solaris standings. Given the fact that you already reached the old mate rank for this faction, fish parts, and as well as gems will be important once you reach the old mate rank, as probably, you will need them to craft the new stuff on Fortuna, conservation mission is really cost effective at max rank, as you get Solaris standings, plus you get some cute floof in the process, and in this video, I will try to show you the best floof hunters in the game right now, they are really effective in this type of mission, but they don't even need to use the tranquilizer gun to capture those cute critters. First things first, the things you need for this mission, first is you need the trank rifle, and then those echo lures, needed for calling those critters, just a quick tip, these stuffs are rewarded to you once you rank up your solaris standings, after you get these stuff, equip your trank rifle on your gear wheel, outside orb valis, select your trank rifle, from here, the location of the animals will be shown depending on what echo lure you select, head to that location and once there, find the poop, yes, the first stage is poop hunting, once you find the poop, track the animal, to locate its call point, once you're in the call point use the necessary echo lures, point the blue dot at the center, and then start calling the animal, once a white marker appear, try to hover the blue dot to where in the marker is going, you will then be notified by biz that the animal is approaching the call point, once you located the animal use your trank rifle to put it to sleep, or don't use it, use Ivara's sleep arrow instead to make your life easier, yes, one of the best floof hunter in the game is Ivara, because she's a freaking hunter, wait, why isn't it working? Enough! The intention is to aid these poor animals, not kill them! Sorry, Outwelder, you scared it off. The problem with that is my build. For your sleep arrow to work properly on this mission, you need to have lots of range. So basically, what you need here is lots of range, plus duration, that's it. Same thing with Equinox. Yes, another great floof hunter is Night Equinox. She can also put those animals to sleep with her second ability. Just like Ivara, all you need to do is mod it with lots of range and duration, and then you are good to go. The standings you earned depends on how well did you perform the capture, and the variation that you caught, the highest Solaris standings that you can get in conservation mission right now is 8000, when you do a perfect capture of a Cubridon and Carnadine, this is the rarest creature right now in Orb Valley spot, this will change in the future as Digital Extremes did announce that they'll be adding more animals in the future. The next conservation animals are Horusk, a quadruped mole-like creature that leaves exclusively in caves. Second is the Stover, a feral animal similar to Cubridons, but instead of fleeing they will relentlessly attack the player. And lastly the Sorgor, a bird-like predator. We don't know if they'll be hard to capture but hell, my Equinox and Ivaro are waiting for these creature to turn them into floofs. So that's it, that's how you can easily catch all the conservation creatures in Orb Valis. I hope that you find this video informative, please leave a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe for more Warframe content, also, come stop by on our discord server for giveaways, or just generally talk everything game related, and of course, you can follow me on twitter if you want, links are on the video description below, thanks for watching, now go turn those critters into floofs or, just piss off biz, squad leader signing off. Now, we wait for the animal to approach. A sunny pubber. Slight. Enough! Do you perhaps think yourself on safari? We are here to capture and preserve. And what? Track and track. Track! Do you understand? Sorry, Outwelder. You scared it off.